ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect me. Y'all, welcome to Outside with Gorilla Nims, the world's first podcast where we don't give a fuck about the guest fucking health or cold or hot. We outside. We in New York City. It's 53 degrees outside today, but we in Coney Island, which is probably 10 degrees colder in the shade. So it's about 40 degrees right now, right? To the right of me, we got my man, Tommy from Martin, AKA 60 <clears throat> Dawn. We got my man, Survivor's Remorse, fresh off his heart attack, Big Paz. We got the fake Drake. We got fucking Busy Rivera. And we have our established and esteemed guests. Listen, these guys, are probably um, the most responsible for my career surgeons. Um, two guys that I have gotten cool with over the last couple years that I I I, um, I treat as friends and I and I fuck with them. Younger guys hey, that yo. I treat as equals. And with that, I give you <clears throat> Jack and Trent yo. of Side Talk. Yeah. yeah. Show me shut, up, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks it's for having an honor. Me. It's an honor to be outside and back on the block. That's fucking yeah. out here. Right? It's Yo, a little cold. Veterans out here. It's a little man. chilly. Yeah. But yeah, we're familiar with the area. Come on, yeah. we're here all the time. Yeah. Exactly. Fire, fire. We got now, now, now. Trent is from California, right? Yes, sir. Jack, where you from? Long Island. The rugged streets of Long Island. What exactly. part? Island. Nassau, rugged. Suffolk. Which one? Nassau. Ooh, gangster, nice. gangster, gangster. Now, um, how did you guys <clears throat> meet? I was like, Ren, I met his brother like a year before we got into college. Randomly. Older or younger? Older. And then we both got into NYU and he like randomly connected us like by chance and was like, yo, my brother's going to NYU too. And then we connected then. And how the fuck, and listen, this is rare that they are even doing <clears throat> an interview. They don't interview with nobody. I asked him to do my Vice documentary. They told Vice, fuck your life. They want nothing <laughs> to do with it. Is, uh, is the reason you guys don't do interviews because like, you don't want to owe nobody favors or no. Nah. It's just more so. Nems came with a hundred million dollar price tag. Yeah, like, <laughs> he wired money before as a deposit, so I was like, perfect. Nah, it's it's just cause like it's fun to keep it that way. I don't know. I think a lot of people just like do something cool and then they go out and do a million interviews and it's like you tell your whole story really quick. And Fact. for us, it's like we're just starting. Like we're just building our story now. So let me ask y'all about that. Like y'all have done a really good job at at maintaining like a certain level of like scarcity and like mystique y'all are y'all are not like jumping out the window and like yeah. on every interview is that like a conscious decision and like yeah. where does that where does that come from like where, where what made y'all take that approach i just feel like a lot of times like people just put so much out there on the internet there's so much stuff on the internet right now it's like people get bored of stuff so quickly people are entertained by everything you put out that's what we try and do we yeah. try not to put out bad shit that people are just going to scroll past and with us personally like not doing a bunch of interviews and stuff it's just because like like I said, it's like, if you release everything at once, you go tell your whole story and do all this, it's like, oh, I've seen that, I've seen it. For us, we kind of like keeping it like a little mysterious and like, it keeps people wondering a little more. Are you vaccinated? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Because you, yes, you guys are around a lot of people during the pandemic. Yeah. And I know your parents and people around you were like, yo, be careful. Yeah. Because it was dangerous. Mm -hmm. And you were like in the hood. Nah, they were in the trenches. Um, yeah. What? Is there any like formula? How do you know what trenches to visit? It's more so just like people always invite us to come to their neighborhoods. But I'm like, sure they gotta be, it gotta be crazy. Yeah, people a million guys invites. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've how known, do you select like, yo, we're going there, we're diving into that? Like a lot of people I've known, cause I went to high school in the city. So a lot of people I've known from them, like they just, they're like, oh, my boy is hilarious. Like a good example is like our friend Chippy Chippy on 116th. He's like, yo, my boy's hilarious. Like I've known Chippy for a while. Yeah. yeah. Seen his stuff on Instagram and stuff. And it's just like a natural fit. So we know it's like, oh, this person wants to do some comedy stuff. Here's a good platform to do it on. You know? Or we'll get like a random ass DM and it'll be like, yo, come to this like car meet up in the Bronx. And we're like, oh God, what is this? Yeah, you take stand? the risk, right? Like, yeah. all right, fuck it, we gonna go. Yeah. yeah. So we but like, how did y'all become the go-to for people to be like, yo, my man, like what were y'all doing before Side Talk to ultimately like propel y'all to be the Side Talk that we know? I think we just started off like just going around like Midtown, 34th Street, just for fun. Washington Square Park and shit like that. And then eventually we started going out to the outer boroughs where there's a lot more cool stuff happening. There's like a lot more stories to tell than like what you see in Times Square and what you and see like, in Washington Square Park. Yo, Times Square is crazy though. Yeah. Who's the, who's the first episode? 
it was just like me like interviewing people in Soho about like Fashion Week, and it's I, like I, so not funny compared to like the Coney Island shit <laughs> and all that stuff. I I seen you guys I think first from in on New York Nico's page. Yep. And when I looked, I was like, yo, what the fuck are these guys doing? And I'm like, yo, in my opinion, you guys have like, you guys know how to make shit viral. I don't know how. Is that like, um, like, was it a conscious effort for just Jack to be behind the camera and you to just like be the guy to talk on the mic? That was kind of like what we originally set out to do. It's like, I'm just going to go up. The original idea for the show was it was going to be mad, like boring and shit. And we were going to like give out one dollar bills in washington square park and shit like that like little soft like youtube shit and then eventually like just as we kept doing it in new york city we met people like you we met people like chippy chippy we just started going places and kind of showcasing the real new york and then that's what people like the show for and then so everyone like has, a life of his own type yeah because yeah, everyone has a friend they're like oh we'll go film with somebody right like chippy for example or nems and it's like We'll meet someone there that's like, you gotta meet my friend that is a hilarious, he's Fucking like, nuts. exactly. Yeah, yeah, like every like, neighborhood has that one legend. That's yeah. crazy. So everyone's yeah. got yeah. to that that's, one legend. That's like that element of New York. Yeah. I, what I liked about your shit was uh, like how the audio was grimy. Yeah, exactly. Like that shit was like a signature. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what separated it from all, from everything else that was so polished. Yeah. That like having everything just fucking just because sound crazy million, on million, the million, mic and all of that. People trying to yeah, do it now. Yeah. And still that separated it. It was like yeah, it was like a good signature. It was just like, like nah, you but guys Jack been that. doing Jack. What you came up with the fat Jew. Yeah, I worked for him starting when I was 14. Really? You've been going viral since 14. So yeah. so when how old are you when side talk? Started popping. We started Monday. at 18. We started at like 18 and then. So, like so 14, 20. how did you get involved with Fat Jew? I just shot him an email when I was a freshman in high school and was like, yo, I'll work for you, do whatever you need to do. Damn, that's all he, it took, bro? He answered me and was I'm like, start shooting me, emails, right? Blah, blah, blah. I in met hindsight, him. was that weird to for a grown man to respond to a 14 year old? Like, yeah, come meet me. <laughs> nah, he, didn't know I, he didn't know I was 14. <laughs> so he had no idea how old I was. I was just like, yo, I want to work for you. I'm in high school, blah, yo, blah, I'm blah. 25. Well, he knew you were in high school, so. Yeah, but he thought I was like probably like. He 18. said, "Yo, but I look." And I 18. met him. And he I was, was 14, like, but I look 18. As a business owner, it's free work. If somebody's coming to you, one until work Chris free, Hansen shows up. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll show so you know why that, I'm here. Did, what did that teach you? Doing. I just that. wanted to learn. I was like, "Yo, the only way, like to do entertainment stuff. I'm not just gonna like social climb and do this stuff. I want to work. I want to like learn like the bad side of it, the good side of it, like the struggle, the hustle. Because oh. especially with entertainment, it's such a glorified business. Like you see all this cool shit happens, but." There's so much stuff, like every other business. It's the same thing as every other business. Yeah, facts. There's facts. bad relationships. There's people that try to take advantage. So I got to learn a lot of that when I was like 15, 16 years old and get to experience it firsthand. And I saw him build a company that he built Yo, to he, like a multi- He blew up, bro. He had company. that that wine company. Yeah, they, they were the first wine yeah, that shit by was fire. Andrew Bush and stuff like that. So I got yeah, to see- That was, white, was girl, white Girl, White yeah. Girl. What was that, White Girl Rosé? Yeah, exactly. And that was the first- that like, shit was, Yeah, that shit was hard. That was the first real like canned, like, different type yeah of that shit was hard that, they like, had that plain market. font yeah they had exactly. that plain font on a label that shit was so i got to like, see from a, a lot of that firsthand and be like okay here's what to do here's what not to do and kind of put that together yeah, he piece you off <laughs> Damn, Damn, bro, not like that i'm talking about money, like money know, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. so, you, oh, so I, I have i have two questions because you, you guys mentioned that you were in nyu but then you said early on you understood the value of like real life experience <laughs> yeah. how does your how your college life, your college career compared to like the real life experience you earned from Fat Jew? Like, yeah, is one more than the other? Going looking back, would you Definitely. be like, Yo, fuck college? Learned, yeah, I'm not fuck college. Would you say fuck college? No, your parents are no, I wouldn't because it builds discipline for stuff that you don't want to do. Well, so it's like when I'm writing like a 10 page paper, and I'm like, I don't care about this at all. When I finish it, I'm like, oh, I just did something that I don't want to do at all. But it's like a lot of the times in business, you have to do stuff that you don't want to do. And yeah, I went to college. Yeah, I went to college, uh, but Ma I Maverick does Harvard, that for right? you. <laughs> Maverick does that for you. No, yeah, I went to college YouTube and Google. Yeah, We're still in college. college now. Only thing I don't, I miss, I, I, I don't, I was mad that I didn't go to college. It's just the experience. Like, that's like the beginning of like your teenage or the end of your teenage year. You're becoming a, an adult. Yeah. And you get to just experience, and you make mad lifelong connections there. I used to go to college parties and be like, yo, this is fire. I wish yeah, I was yeah. in right. fucking college or something, but too bad. Trent, what made you cross the whole country to go to New York it's college? The place, I think it's the place that you can get stuff done. Like, I'm from L.A. originally, and in L.A. you really can't do anything at all. Like, you've been there. It's like yeah, you got to yeah. drive somewhere, you got to park, you have one meeting, then you yeah, got to drive yeah, yeah. home, then the day's over. Exactly. Here it's like... 
we can come to Coney Island and do this podcast and we could have three meetings, film a video at night, stay up, post the video the next day. It's like you can we do so much shit here. We don't even realize that because we're from New York. Yeah. But like in the yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah it's, like annoying, it's like annoying to yeah, us. Yeah, but it's just it's normal. I know when, when, uh, when I first started coming to this block in Coney Island, I, I, you know, I was seeing what Nems was doing, obviously, like on all his lives, everything like that. But like, if you spend 24 hours here, yep. you see so much wild shit. It's almost like you would, you would think he, that like this can't be real, yep. but it's just 24 hours, just people strolling in from everywhere. We're like numb to the shit. Like we normalize this shit, right? It's yeah. like shit is like nothing to us. You know? And the best part about New York is like, there's so much like shared stuff. Like everyone likes the same shit in New York. Like we all know the same jokes. We have the same slang. We like Facts. listen to the same music. It's like in LA, everyone's doing their own shit. Here it's like everyone can connect on some level. Yeah, there's a lot of shared culture here. But the weather over even here from sucks. even weather, even yeah. different boroughs. Yeah, overall. Definitely. Oh, rate the boroughs, in grime the grimiest borough from the most grimy borough to the least grimy borough. I feel like we get, we're gonna get flamed for that. Yeah, they're all good. I they're can't rate them by griminess. Nah, he said, like, "Yo, we gotta go back to the boroughs. So I'm not gonna rate them shit." <laughs> Favorite. The best, I will, I'll rank them from the best boroughs to filming. Cause like, okay, all right. one thing works. we notice about boroughs is like the energy is crazy. Like when we're in the Bronx, it's like, we know we're in the Bronx. Everyone has this like, I was going to say that shared, like just right. sense of like pride about the Bronx. It's very similar to Brooklyn, but like we've noticed, especially in the Bronx with all like the drill music and stuff too. People are so proud to like identify with the Bronx. It's such like a That's, anchored mm-hmm. thing that they like. Yeah. We haven't filmed in Queens. We've gone haven't, to, like, filmed, haven't filmed, filmed in Queens. We've, we've that, tried. Uh, we filmed that like Rolling Loud a few times, but it didn't end up being good. And we went to like <laughs> we've gone to like a car meetup and stuff like that, but it just some stuff just doesn't work. How like, often does that happen? Rockaway, maybe that stuff doesn't work. That like we always see the flash shit, but like what's your average of like y'all so go out, y'all shoot some shit, and it's a dud. Ninety nine point nine percent of stuff. Yeah, ninety nine point nine percent of that's stuff. Never we never see. Yeah, a lot of wow. content creators like. They fuck up in the beginning because it's like, okay, I got to put content out. I got to put content out. But the way to keep your audience engaged is put stuff out that they like. It's not like, at first we were like, yo, let's post every week. Like, word, word. We're like, that doesn't work. Like, that does, if we posted every week, we wouldn't be sitting here. You right dilute like, your impact. You just dilute. You're just like, oh, I'm just trying to please a fan. Like, it doesn't mean anything. People want a, like a product or an experience. They don't want just to be fed something, you know? So it's like, so if we well, go out and I think. I think at the same time, let's say you take the formula of posting every week, right? Yeah. Like Nems does is don't ever disrespect me every yep. week. But at the same time, he's innovative with it every time. 100%. So it's like if you take that same formula and you just redo that every week, it gets, you know, it exactly. starts washing away. But like when he does is don't ever disrespect me and shit. Nah, but what like, people don't understand is that, bro, there's times, bro, that, that one minute segment but we'll be out here for fucking six hours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And there's times where, especially on the, 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 the Coney Island Ski Club, that one, and there was the, the, the Thanksgiving one, where I'm literally out here and I'm like, bro, this, we ain't catch nothing funny yeah. all day. Yep. yep. And even and after the six hours, seven hours, you're like, all right, I did what I, what I yep. everything I could. This shit is not going to work out. And it's then, like going to the studio. Like, yeah. I see a lot of musicians go in. It's like, not magic's not going to happen every time. Like. You're not gonna go in and spit what you want to spit, so it's like it's the same thing with filming a video. It's it's very and you don't know what the magic is, what people like. That's the thing. If we were doing something that was scripted, it would be a lot different because it's like okay, you're gonna do this, do this. But what we do is very organic, as like someone like. Right, but he's using his creativity to create the jokes to do the don't ever disrespect. Exactly. You guys are dependent on other people. Mm -hmm. You're asking the question. Nah, but a lot of it is their editing. Their editing, bro. People don't realize that that. The shit when, when the clips of zooming into the person's face, that shit makes the shit mad funny. Yeah. <laughs> or 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 just catching two seconds of something that we didn't even think was funny, but the way that they cut it up and 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 make it look, and makes it a sound bite, that shit just works. Even like when we had when I was putting the glizzy in that fucking, guy's fucking <laughs> that was mouth, bro. Crazy. <laughs> I don't even remember doing yeah. that, but the fact that it was, that fucking was you put a glizzy in his mouth, yeah, and, he, and he's looking contact. at me in my eyes. That nigga while made I'm doing bad eye contact. I didn't realize that was going on at <laughs> was the time, not bro. But in the video, it's clear as day, bro. I'm like, yeah, Yo, I got the glizzy, and he's staring comedy. at me in my eyes. I was like. But I don't remember him <laughs> staring at me like this, but it looks crazy. It usually happens like that. You don't remember when you stare. <laughs> <laughs> and like another thing too is not every video is gonna work out and be like a home run. Yeah. The best way I like to think about it is like in baseball, if you're in the Hall of Fame, if you get a hit, three out of every 10 times you go to yeah. hit. 
Like Derek yeah, the Hall Jeter of Fame got is a fact. In most sports, if you do something right three out of ten times, yeah. you're like a legend. Derek 100. Jeter got out seven out of ten times when he went up to hit, and he's like one of the best baseball players of all time. He's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. And out of those three hits, out of every ten at bats, like how many of those are a home run? Yeah. Maybe one. Yeah. I think that's a perfect time to segue. And if you guys are giving a lot of game, we should get into Nem's gems and give up okay. some life hacks because y'all just dropped some very important life hacks. Build your content. Let's see. Let's see. I got Nem's you know. gems. Nem's gems. I like yeah. to give some life Nem's hacks gems. Hey, yo, Everybody life. got a, a life hack. All right. Yeah. So yeah. I was I was thinking about it today. I was like, yo, what is a life hack that I did back in the day when I was smoking weed? I used to like to smoke in my house when I lived with my mother. You know what I'm saying? But my mother don't smoke. I used to get in trouble all the time for smoking. You, even if you blow it out the window, that shit is like... Yeah, that shit gonna stay there. It's gonna fact. stay in the house. So I came up with a fucking ill way. You can take the empty toilet paper roll, <laughs> right? Put a dryer sheet over it. Put the rubber band around it. And then when you take a hit of the, the weed, you blow it into the paws. Hey, yo, all of that. You blow it into the toilet paper roll, but through the dryer sheet, and it comes out smelling like dryer sheet. That's some. Nah, so you go to college? Crazy. No. Wow. And that, that's and so, so, it's how, so it's how you blew. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> Six. Did you, did you patent that? Yo, that's I feel good, I can bro. Make those. Yeah, that's fire. Yo, facts. What's going to ruin man? A life hack. <laughs> All right. A life hack is uh, when you go on vacation. This is my life hack. When you go on vacation, <laughs> right? You order a room, right? When you book a room, book a trash room. Like, especially if you're going with a girl, right? Book a trash room. <laughs> and when you get there, when you get to the front desk, make sure you check in, go to the room. It's going to be trash, right? It's just going to look like a motel. And then you come back down and you just got to look sad, right? Bring the girl and be like, yo, it was our honeymoon, bro. We booked this as a honeymoon. Like, this shit is terrible. Is and this a tried and true you. approach? Is this yeah. tested? This is battle yeah. tested? But you got to be serious. You got to go there and say, yo, this is our honeymoon. And... We didn't realize this was our room. They'll upgrade your shit to the honeymoon suite. They'll give you champagne. They'll fold the little fucking, the towels like a swan. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? For the That's love. That's for me the, in Atlanta The towels City. like a swan. That, that, that works local. Who are you with? Manhattan. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all get recognized a lot? Yeah. Decent amount. Decent amount. You that. equally, <laughs> even though you're behind the camera. Yeah. I equally, but a lot. I, I know I'm getting back. Damn. He just said he got recognized. I just was curious if they get recognized. Yeah, decent Dude. amount. <laughs> Jack, you get recognized? Yeah, even surprisingly. Even behind the camera? Yeah, They think you're Leonardo DiCaprio? Just because of Instagram. Nah, just because of Instagram. Ah. Nah, but you know what? You guys are smart because you guys pin your two comments mm -hmm. yeah. on every one, which yeah. is, you know, they got to know who the yeah, fuck. Yo, point. people think I'm side talk yeah. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yo, side talk. Da, da, da. Yeah. The other night I went to uh, Harbor. It was I was walking in. I was dolo. The Jets just pulled up. I ain't, I, you know, I don't, I'm a Giant fan. And I, like I told them, but they was like, yo, we're the Jets. One of the, one of the guys, I don't know, he didn't tell me his name. He's like, yo, we're from the yo, Jets. We're the Jets. <laughs> yo, yo, you do side talk, right? And from that Jets, uniform. At this <laughs> point, I don't want to fucking, I don't tell them, yeah, nah, that's Jack and Chuck. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, yo, we want to get on there. And I, and I told them, well, I'm a giant fan. Life, Fuck your life. Uh, I just walked in. Nice. Everybody all the time, yo, you just having your, a good conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said. Cause you Posse's you know, together. Edit that out. His you know, cousin, niggas, he wants his life hack off. His life hack. It better be the fucking best. Better the it best better be the hack. fucking best life hack ever. You better nah, die nah, I don't even care. Back. Come back. You Fuck better your be life. a life hat where you got Fuck your life. life. That's my like life Mario, hat. Bro. That's my life like hat. Fucking Mario. Up. You better have a one up. Because made me write a life hat. <laughs> and this fucking dude comes and sits on eight crates and, and switches it when it's my turn. So Fuck okay, out tell of your here. fucking life I don't want to tell it now. <laughs> Fuck your life hacks. Right, you guys right, have man. any like white life hacks? I got a life hack. Shit that only happens, like, you know, that'll get you. I got a life hack. All right, go ahead, go. When you're boarding a plane, you know how you're in, like, a boarding group? You're okay. in, like, A, B, C, D, or E? Those don't matter. <laughs> you can go whenever you want. Sure. That's all I'm going to say. How the fuck do you know that? That's true. I've tried it. I'm, like, group E, and I'm, like, fuck it. I'm going to go with They're not going to turn you down. And, like, and then you just right? scan your little boarding pass. It's like, brrr. And then Damn, that's true. Quiet. Yo, who did that's that? Yo, Vegas. Vegas, the cameraman? He went in when they was calling for the military people one day. You guys just love and he, yeah, stolen guys, valor. Is that stolen valor, like, yeah. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> I was like, yo, uh, military first on the plane. He just walked in. Oh, with his shit, man. And it, bro, he went New right Vegas. on. No, he's right. I've done that before by accident. Like, they're boarding first class, and I got my headphones on. I'm not paying attention. They, they don't. 
it's like too awkward to be like, excuse me, sir. They just, they just, yeah. Like, yeah. nah, they do that, bro. They shut people down, bro. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. TSA yeah. is crazy, you know, bro. I see bro. Not TSA, the lady at the front. That's not even yeah. TSA. That's not TSA. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they just like work for the airline. Yeah, facts. But you they gotta, you gotta own it. Like, yo, I. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, de- yeah, you yeah. gotta be dedicated. You once you, yeah, once it's you. It's all about that. Jack, you got a life hack? Yeah, I think my life hack is a little different than everything else, but I think, like, it applies to what we do. It's like, if you're gonna do something, it sounds so corny saying this, but like you gotta let nothing get in, with the, in between the oh, yeah. in between you and what you're gonna do. That's a fact. It's not a goal. Like if you set yourself a goal that's not strong enough, you gotta tell yourself, "I'm literally gonna do this." The way we did Sad Talk was like we had for the first year we did it, we had less than a thousand followers the whole time. It was just we were in our dorm. A year, y'all were a year Definitely. chipping away. Hundred percent. Less than a thousand followers. We were sitting in our dorm at like three in the morning, being like, "Yo, like editing this, being like, oh, what we." Sh- we just knew that it was going to be big and not from anything else, but other than the fact we just convinced ourselves that. Like, it sounds so corny saying that, but if you literally convince yourself, like, I'm going to do this, and then you don't let anything get in the way, you just got to keep your head up the whole time. Nah, it sounds bro, so that, corny. Bro, that's 100% true. It's literally true. That's like, it doesn't anything. work. I look back at, at where I'm at now, and I look back at just throughout my life, and ever since I could remember, like, elementary school, like, I wholeheartedly knew... Like, it wasn't like I wanted to, or like you said, it wasn't a goal. I knew that I was going to succeed at being a rapper or in the entertainment field, yeah. and nobody could tell me nothing different. No yeah. matter what people, yeah, nah, you getting older, or nah, it ain't going to happen, or even when I was fucked up on drugs and all of that, I knew, like in my heart of hearts, that no matter what, this is going to be my life. And I knew I was going to be successful at it, because... Sometimes you have to be honest with yourself. Like, some people just fucking suck, and they don't yeah. have talent. Like, you have to be honest with yourself. Like, yo, do people like what I'm doing? And, like, a lot of people don't... You, you got to be honest, themselves. or you got to be delusional. Like, sometimes if you're delusional. honest on paper, it's like, this isn't adding up. Yeah, you almost got to be delusional to be like, I don't care what this says on paper, and I don't care that I only have a 1,000 followers. Yeah. And I think there's a difference, because, like, people, there are a lot of people that are delusional with talent and they succeed but there are a lot of people that are delusional without talent and they don't Word. succeed so it's like i'm gonna be the biggest rapper in the world like blah blah, blah but right. they don't make any effort at actually excelling their craft you know what it's about who's putting in the most work right yeah. like Everybody. i always say this about about nems anytime anybody yo what's up shit man nems, nems, nems. i say yo bro he's out working everybody yeah 100 percent. everybody right. every time you call nems he's doing something there's never a time where you hit him up and it's like, yo, what's up, where you at? And he's just chilling in the crib watching TV. Uh, everybody yeah. wants to He's be doing famous. something Nobody every day. To put in the fucking yeah, yeah, he's doing something every show. day, bro. Every day. If it's a don't disrespect me, merch, stories. Look at all the shit that he was posting before Bing Bong even blew up. Yeah. Like I think that's for how us. I got with them. Yeah, for us, that Bing yeah. Bong shit, he was saying it every day. Yeah. Every day. By the time it blew up, all of us in the crew just like, that shit was like a year old to us. And also, too, you know to add saying? to that is like the biggest thing with. Hand, that goes hand in hand with that is like self-discipline. It's like, if you can't be real with yourself and just say, I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna do this, like, you're not gonna win. Facts. Like, you have to just set the strictest rules with yourself. That's I mean, the only way to win. You always need help, though. You always need some help. Yeah, like a team. That's some no. luck. It's like everything involved. Not, well, but, but the inner, inner belief in yourself, that's the most important shit. Because everyone's wow. gonna doubt you around But it's you. also like, like yeah, that people, you have to, you have to, like, listen, I knew that the point was gonna come where I would get to this level, right? So I was telling the other guys from the main video that we did, like, yo, make sure you're getting, put your ducks in a row. Make sure you're getting paid for everything you're doing because this ain't gonna last. This is gonna be last for a couple months. Now we're look, a year later from when we all went the viral yeah. shit, I'm still moving, yep. you know what I'm saying? Not everybody from the video is moving. It's not no, no, no side talk, no pun intended right. towards them, but it's like, you have to be, I had albums ready. I had shit in place. So when this moment came, we had boom, boom, boom. How has that affected your guys' life since the viral shit? I know that shit changed everything for me. Yeah. What's the main change that you guys? It's just crazy because it's like, we can introduce ourselves to anyone and just like not really have to explain. We can say, oh, we made that Bing Bong video. Like you were there with us with Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah. Tony Island, we met Travis Scott at a concert and he knew who we were without us having to say anything. A hundred percent. And so crazy. And the cool thing about that is too, like we didn't just go viral off of one thing. We had so much on our page already that people liked and that people in New York specifically already, cause like when we went viral, everyone in New York was like, fuck, like, 
I knew Side Talk before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah, year yeah, and a yeah, half before yeah. it went viral. We did videos with you way before yep, it went viral. Absolutely. Even the video, I don't even know if you know this, but your video that went viral, we released like four months. Like, yeah, yeah. It came no, out. In like April. Yeah, it yeah. came out in like April. It'll and then went viral like November. in November. Yeah. So like, that just shows you like, it, it's like laying foundation for a building. Like if you don't lay the foundation, you build That's above fine. it, everything's going to fall down. But if you build foundation, you're only gonna go up from there. Like it's absolutely. Well, I yeah. think discipline is one of those things that's like not really talked about when people are talking about success. Because I know even for Nims, like every week he's dropping merch, he's delivering it by hand yeah. in his red Honda Accord. Not, anymore. not no. I'm saying in the beginning, like that's that's a level of discipline. Like yo, I'm doing oh, yeah. this on this day. I'm coming to the Bronx. Like, but that's because I don't smoke or drink, and how I have fun is to make money. Like me handling business is fun to me. I've, I've warped it in my brain somehow where like going to the club, hanging out, all of that is not fun to me. Yeah. What's fun is getting money. And there's nothing else really to do when you don't drink or smoke, none of that. What are you doing? Do not walk through here. <laughs> you guys mentioned help. Is there anyone else that's part of the operation that maybe people are not privy to? It's really just like a two-man show. Yep. Yeah. And obviously all of you our know, our our hosts, like now, like New York Nico shouted us out in the beginning. When word, we, word. Like he helped us definitely like build well, like operation. What about yeah? yeah I was gonna say like what about like saying, all right, yo, this audio, nah, this visual, like did you guys just crash course it? Where it was yeah. just like, yeah. all right, that we, didn't work. We just put all of our shit right. in a backpack, go wherever we're gonna go, film it. But that's yeah. why it works. Edit it. Torch yourselves. Yeah. Fuck it. If we were here with a camera crew like this, everyone would have a different like. They wouldn't be as comfortable on the camera, you know? Yeah. And that's the goal of our thing is like, we're trying to just make shit that's like real, authentic. We're not trying to be here and be like, okay, now you got to do this and do that. Because if we were trying to do that, we'd have a whole camera crew like this. A hundred percent. So you're shitting on us pretty much saying that we're like, yeah, fuck yeah, 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 us. There's a different yeah, outcome. Yo, it's hard <laughs> when, like, like, for instance, Pops. Got a life hack? Funniest guy in the world when it's hard when you tell somebody, be, be funny, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. mad. Like, I could me, Pops, we stand here all day joking on everybody. The whole block will be in stitches. Paz will have the whole block in stitches. That's fact. You put people, even like my cousin Tatito, talk shit, per, the meanest shit talker. Put him in the studio, here, talk shit. He, On a skit he, or something? Yeah, yeah. He gets yeah, quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't do it. Because it's hard when they when they put you on the spot. That shit here, gotta be organic. Do what you naturally do, but fakely, it yeah. don't work. It feels yeah. like a production. You know it's the it's, truth. Because we've met up with, like, even some people that, we tried to film with it's like they're like comedians and stuff or like instagram comedians we meet up with them and it's just like oh you're like a skit comedian yeah 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 Yo, i'm not i don't really like that shit. yeah it's like a way instagram different type of comedian. vibe yeah like it's, I'm hard, not really it's hard into to it. go into a comedy club and make 200 people you don't know laugh so we, we do it naturally because we yeah. bug out all fucking day he was doing lives with his fans to call up and we'll roast you yeah, 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 yeah. Before, the that, don't before, before, yeah, don't, before yeah, everything just go live and roast people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. That's yeah, how yeah. we speed. That's how everything came about. Everybody you know called missing teeth. Yo, facts. <laughs> yeah, I know, it, was, it, was, it was like no was girls. Crazy. And then we was like, yo, the first girl to call, we giving them five hundred dollars in merch. And then the dude put his girl on the phone. He was like, you fucking hoe, bitch. That shit? That shit but they life. loved it. Yeah, they yeah, loved it. You guys ever think about bringing your show on the road outside of New York or no? People ask us that all the time, and like I'm sure we could obviously get good shit in other places. Whoa, but uh, <laughs> pigeon just flew by for all of our audio listeners. Yeah, cause we yeah, outside. Yeah. But, we uh, outside. Dirt. But uh, dirty pigeon. New York's like where it's at. It's like Facts. yeah. Simply put, it's so the you best place want to do it. Not really, nah. Not really. But have it's you still, run no, out of place? Y'all can never run out of content here. Nah, it's more like we're very selective with what we do. So we're not like I said, we're not just gonna post a bunch of random shit, and that's where the success kind of lies. It's like. People say this, like, oh, the algorithm, you got to post every week. Yeah, yeah. All bullshit. Unless, yeah, I'm not saying that's that that real. Is this, no, no, wait, You have, up. like, inf inside information. Yeah, you don't think no. that's real? It is real. It is real. But what I mean by that is that you can't rely on the algorithm to succeed. Like, you're yeah. not, you got to rely on the content more itself. And we find that us posting every week and meeting the algorithm, yeah, we might get the same interaction every week, but it's not the interaction that we get right, now. So post, like, what's you know? the best, what's the best platform for you? 
like TikTok, Insta Instagram, YouTube, like what's the mo what's the most one that you get the most hits on? Our main platform is Instagram just because it's so interactive. You yeah. can see who liked it, who commented, which of your friends liked it, which of your yeah. friends follows it. We have like a million and a half on Instagram, but TikTok. TikTok's like biggest. technically our biggest. We have like four and a half million yeah, on same. TikTok. I'm not sure, I'm not but sure it's like, 700 but it's on like TikTok, fake. 400 on. It doesn't mean anything. But TikTok is like weird. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Fake. And they take all my videos there. All the way the that TikTok works too, I find is that most consumers spend their time on the For You page. They don't spend it on the following page. Yeah, yeah, facts. So you got 10 million followers and then go post a video and 0.1% of your audience is going to see it. Or yep. you could have zero. They say this is the same shit with Instagram too, right? Like it's like 1% or something like that? Nah, that's like interaction rate. But like interaction. Instagram, when you're in your feed, right? Yeah. You follow all those people pretty yeah. much. It's not just random shit. It's Even not just showing you shit like suggestions. Exactly. Like so that's why like, we don't rely on like an algorithm to work. We rely on everywhere you go. It's not gonna be like New York, where all night, no matter what time, you could go outside and just record people. Right, I've so been mad places and it's dead. And you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. But New York, you could go outside, literally leave your dorm three in the morning, like your camera. Fuck it, let's go. Anything yeah. crazy ever happened where you kind of like just went to a borough, was in the trenches, and then he's like, "All right, we gotta get the fuck out of here." It's kind of got a little wild right now. Not too bad, but one story that's funny is like. Like, as you know, we never, like, mess with anyone while we're yeah, filming. Right. Yeah, we're, we're always just, like, talking to people and having a good gorgeous. time. But when we first started out, we were like, oh, we should, like, we should, like, we were in Times Square, and we were like, oh, we should tap on this guy's, like, other oh, shoulder. And then, like, and then go the other way and see, like, how he reacts. It was, like, some dumb prank shit. Like, it I don't was also, even know why we did that. Yeah. <laughs> the guy was also, like, a hardo. We could tell. Like, he had, like, glasses on. He had one of those, like, clear earpieces that, like, an FBI guy would have. <laughs> which is just, I don't know why we did it to that that's guy. That's a red flag. Yeah, that's a red yeah. flag. That's a red flag. So we did it and then, like, walked away and we're, like, looking at the footage. And then Jack was like, yo, this guy's, like, pulling up on us. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, he's walking over right now. So we like casually yeah, start walking. Start talking without moving your teeth. Like, yeah, oh, this we start walking it. away. He's walking in the same direction. Then we start running, and the guy's chasing us through Times Square. Oh, no. Yeah, we go like two blocks. The guy like somehow cuts us off and meets us there. Who was he? When is this random random crazy in the side talk journey? Is this like early, early on? Yeah, like, 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 like fuck this. Four thousand followers. Probably like two thousand followers. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real though. I've been around Jack and Trent. They don't back down. Nah. Like I've been when we did the Nathan's Glizzy shit, Jack got into a full fledged argument. Some guy hit us while we're filming. Yeah. Hits us. Like I don't he just like Like hits y'all like bumped y'all. Like kept going into us and then Word. like went like that to me. Got it. And like But Jack what? is the one with the camera, so it's fucking you up. You guys play hockey? But it's nah, also like I lacrosse, right? Lacrosse? Yeah, so forever. Ready to go. Yeah, they was yeah. mad because yeah, they were standing there since yeah, five in the morning contact. to watch people eat glizzies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. We that's a bad life. Pulled up right when it was starting and just walked in and walked. Then you know, we devoted everybody. Now nah, we, all right, we right here. This is where it needs to be. So they was yeah. mad off rip. But I did, and 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 that's not the first time. Jack, Jack is ready to pop. Trent is more like cool, but he don't back down neither. Well, Trent is pushing. Well, if we just nah, get. Trent's <laughs> thank you, thank you. Nah, it works well together. Because especially when you're in New York, once once you're filming and people feel like they control you, yeah. it's over. Yeah. Like, you can't set a precedent. You can't. Like, it's not. <laughs> like, you, you can't. <laughs> Seriously. For real. Nah, like, you set president. Last week he wasn't wearing FYL. I, was like, I got oh, a pin on there. Just it's true, though. No. Like, oh, oh, black, 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 black. In all seriousness. A dude. matte black pin. Bro, get these fucking birds out of here. Yo, what the yo, fuck? Yo, 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 bro. What the fuck? Who's that? Fucking Uncle Fester? Yo, bro, get the birds. That's the guy we rubbed his hair. He got a haircut. <laughs> Yo, so you well, guys anyway, I'm back outside. Guy? Yeah, I'm all the time. We live together. But like fist together. sport? Shit got physical? Yeah, we I'm definitely. Like, uh, what, right, so like who's I'm like, like 20 and all, I think. No, nah, but it's fist fight out oh. of like fun. It's not yeah. like. What? What? Well, it's not. I don't know. I never had a fun fist fight. Uh, it's know. more like agitated shit. It's Anybody like, ever threw a right. kick? <laughs> That's when shit gets personal. <laughs> Yo, throwing a kick is crazy. Kicking is like. Who's the kicker out of you? Yeah. Probably, I probably will. Yeah, yeah. Ah. In all due respect, I'm not going down. Probably. So I'm not gonna just use my hand to stay up. If I, if yeah. shit's going, if shit hits the fan, I'm. By yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's him? That's it. I'm the anybody. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the undefeated featherweight champion. That's true though. Yeah. What's the featherweight? Oh look, Jack. Jack that's true. Well, probably that. yeah, yeah, he also yeah. he grew up with a brother, I, older brother. I grew up with a little sister. So thank God I'm not good at at yeah, physically you've been fighting. To, you've been trying to kick. You needed somebody to kick for years. <laughs> they told a story. I think we should get into story time. Some Skinny Nems Chronicles. Skinny Nems. Uh, what I can remember is my 20th. <laughs> uh, yo, a lot of the shit I don't remember when I was skinny because I was heavily sedated <laughs> on all types of drugs. But I do remember. So this story is shit that you remember or shit that people have told you? This like is one that I remember. So 
when I was battling, I did the Fight Club. Um, I remember my, t I was, I beat everybody in there. I was like undefeated. I was like, I was like 19 and like one loss or something, whatever. After, you know, after a while I, I caught a loss. But I remember my 20th battle, my two front teeth uh, fell out. Like I bit a cookie and it just was fucking <laughs> pink out, right? I'm on mad drugs. What type of cookie was I, that? Yeah, I don't know, it's just my weak ass teeth, I guess. Right, because my shit is fake right now. Bang. <laughs> so, bang. I battle. Um, he's popping now. His name was Rain Man at the time. His name now is R.J. Payne. And I remember battling him, and everybody was there. It was like Fox Five was there, Lisa Evers, all the news places. Um, I won on the shit. I beat him. I remember him saying, "Yo, how, how I lost? He don't even." Got no front teeth, and I was—I remember saying they asked from kissing your mother, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> I jumped on the pool table. I was like, "Yo, none of y'all." And in Fight Club, it wasn't open to the public, so it's all industry people, all Are other you dolo? rappers. Yeah, I was dolo. Jumped on the pool table. Was like, "Yo, nobody in here wants it with me. I beat all of you, motherfuckers. I'm the king in this motherfucker. Twenty wins. None of y'all even got like five wins. Nobody in here could fuck with me." And I remember doing mad interviews on Channel 5, Channel 11 with no front teeth, bro. <laughs> and I look back at that, get that and I'm like, footage. yo, what the fuck? And, uh, you know, still to this day, none of these rappers can fuck with me. Bing bong. Hurt. You know what I'm saying? Now you got teeth. Exactly. Life is good. Pause, uh -huh. you want to revisit your life hack? Oh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yo. I got a life hack, but this, is, this isn't what I was going to say, but... There's a new one? There's a new one. I just thought of it. Some real shit. Don't wait till all your um lights come on in your car. I'm talking about your health or your body. Go go get a checkup. I mean that shit. Go check yourself. All of you, all of you and all of y'all. Just check All right, yourself. bro. That, no, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's real shit, and I will, I will add to that. You can't do two life hacks, man. <laughs> no, no. But I, I was thinking of I was thinking of this potential life hack is like, am I gonna use this one? I was like, no, I'm gonna just use this, this military shit. Yo, flossing is mad important. Fact. I went yeah, to my fact. dental hygienist. They're like, yo, sugar don't cause cavities. Bacteria causes cavities. Yeah, and fact. the way you stop bacteria is from flossing. Simple. I went to the dentist. No one told me that. And the dentist, I told him, yo, I need. Them don't like this one. Nah, I just teeth. started flossing recently. Girl, I told him I need a teeth cleaning. But I don't have a lot of teeth said, left, no. so my shit be like. Eh. <laughs> said, no, you don't need it cleaning. You need to brush. And Yo, brush. that's racist. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Why you gotta do the accent? Right? So that's All right, let's get into "Don't Ever Disrespect Me." <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, explain it. So "Don't Ever Disrespect Me" oh. is I, I I give you something, like I, I I say something. Don't ever disrespect me. Either you disrespect him, which means you don't like it, or don't ever disrespect him, which means you you fuck with, fuck it. with it. So right now. Are we going? We doing everybody? We just doing everybody. All right, all right. Matter of fact, let's start with Jack and Trent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's let's go with Crocs. Disrespect or don't ever disrespect. Don't ever disrespect means no. Yeah. That you do fuck with them. Don't ever disrespect Crocs means you fuck with Crocs. Oh, what's, is that what's what? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And disrespect. You want to disrespect Crocs? Crocs or yeah. not? Fuck I mean, I disrespect. It's not. Yeah, it's not a, disrespect. Yeah, I disrespect. Are you serious? Them. Yeah. Wow. Never fuck with them. You said. Yeah. Never yeah, been I a love, Croc I love Crocs. I love Crocs. crocodile. No, but I'm either going with shoes or flip flops. Same. There's no in between. Nah, I don't even flip flops. But would you? Oh, so you don't fuck with Crocs? Which I've never had a pair of Crocs. Which flip flops? Really like oh, you're saying that Crocs sit in the middle of like sneakers and flip flops? Yeah. And you're, you're more of okay. I got. It. Nah, Take busy is the yeah. only advocate for Crocs. In this don't group. ever disrespect Crocs. That's yeah, you be wearing they're, them outside. They're yeah. slippers. They're indoor, outdoor, all terrain. You can put them in sport mode. Nah, they just those like, shits look ugly though, bro. Like it's the, the, so the design. You wear them outside. Is I wear them outside. All right, all right, all right. Real, real question. Yeah. You wear them outside, but when you put them on, are you like, hey, I'm killing these shits right now? <laughs> no. All right. So what you fucking with them for? Because they're comfortable. When you hit a certain age, you just. Yo, he's married <laughs> with children. He's Al Bundy. He's married with children, bro. So don't do that. So what? That's no, a life, that's, that's a life don't act. care. That's a life act. You want to be married with children. I'm Al right. Bundy. Uh, here's, here's one. Here's <laughs> one. Jordan Dub Zeros. Jordan Dub Zeros? Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> I had a pair when I when I came out of jail. 
Exactly. My girl and my mom, my girl at the time, and my moms Actually had me. I had a pair of Miss Keen jeans. Oh, Miss Keen was a Jordan hoodie Y'all remember and Jordan yeah. Dub Zero. No, they don't remember that. Nah, I don't know Miss Keen. You know what the Dub Zeros are? The yeah. Jordan Dub Zero. Yes. But I only you wear fuck with them or not? I disrespect. I only wear ones and fours. Damn. Yeah. I'm the lead sneakerhead here. I'm wearing yeah, Converse. Facts. That's so. his. Oh yeah, apparently. Yeah. 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 What's your favorite? What's your favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite sneaker and your favorite album? Uh, my favorite album is Get Rich or Die Trying. My favorite sneaker is Ooh. Jordan 1 Reverse sh Shatter Backboard. That's the black and orange Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's the, but the patent orange with the white, not the black. Like, the black is like this light tone. Like, the Shatter Backboards are the heavy, like, orange Most, and black. Yeah, 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 These yeah. are the white background with the orange. Yep, yep. Those the most. I, I know Trent's favorite, favorite sneaker. Favorite sneaker album. That's Trent's right. favorite sneaker is right. He's Stan Smith them. Adidas. Oh, okay. No. Come on, don't ever disrespect me and not have your favorite album be Congo by Nems. Oh. 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 Bing bong. Bing bong. I like this kid. I like this kid. <laughs> Give go. him a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you. <laughs> Oh, you've been sneezing in that. Yo, I've been watching you sneeze in that for like 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he don't wear condoms. Yo, he don't wear condoms. Don't wear Disrespecting the sponsor. Yeah, that's that the condom. Easy. Yo. What's your favorite sneaker, though? Uh, uh, Chuck Taylor? No. We got to get him know. some Damn, you don't know? We got to get him some Crocs. I'm big Yo, what's the sneaker now? you bought I'm the most? switching up. Definitely. He's definitely Crocs. bought those the most. I've literally had judges buy had those Yo, Converse. You got the most viral sensation team right here. Yeah. They wearing your shit. Send them the fucking like that. Check. Converse tap in. Don't ever disrespect me by not tapping in. Facts. Tap Ooh. in heavy. Send Yo, me a eat, pair. Eat, what about you? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Pineapple on pizza. Never. What? Nah, hell. It's disgusting. Nah. I'm sorry. That's not even. Like, yeah. You're not going to turn it down. I, not, I, I, I love no, I would, I would turn it down. Yeah, hell That's yeah. Crazy. I love pineapple on pizza. I wouldn't, and even, I wouldn't even take them off and eat the regular. I wouldn't even eat it. Because nah. it fucks up the pizza. Yeah, hell yeah. You know yeah, how yeah, I justify it? Because we had this argument of. Is that a New York thing? The Ninja Turtles definitely ate pineapple on pizza, and you can't get more New York than the real. Ninja Turtles. They, yeah, they're not. <laughs> they're not I real, bro. Thing. You know that, right? <laughs> get the fuck out That's of here. That's gotta be they're not real. <laughs> I love pineapple on, on pizza. The youth and the, the older crowd have a thing. Glizzies. Glizzies are oh, nah. well, be specific. It's not like not be specific. I, I will eat a hot dog or grill. Like a specific like, if it's like a fire, like. Good hot dog. You're not eating like, a street oh, cart hot dog. Hot, it's a fucking hot nah. dog, bro. If you're like, this place has like a fire hot dog or some shit, or like it's a baseball oh, I, stadium. Like, like five I'm dollars. not going to have like a subret hot dog. I don't even know if subret <laughs> makes hot dogs. They do, they do they make do. hot dogs. Yeah, they do, they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I didn't know they made pretzels or some shit. Ballpark. I just like, right? Like, I don't Trent, know. you a glizzy eater? Unfortunately, I've been conditioned to be anti-glizzy. So, Damn. but like if you're at like the little Italy feast like I that, seen... sausage pot is <laughs> not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, I've seen him eat two glizzies at nah, the We both, we both. How I, can I, you go to a July 4th barbecue and not have a fucking, not have yeah. a hot dog? It's insane. Some people, it's un-American. The craziest yeah. part is some people are so serious about that. Some people like, yo. are like, yo, don't even. Yo, it's not a good like look. 15, it's not a good look. 15 and under? They take it dead serious. Yeah, my twins. Yeah. I have 14 year old twins. These, these fucking kids won't even eat out. I'm like, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Do y'all remember? I don't know if this Go is just like a neighborhood yeah, thing where y'all would like have to bite the tip of the glizzy and spit it out. Like, I'm not nah. eating it. Nah, that hell That was no. in your neighborhood. Like, yeah, like, like, you couldn't eat that part. You had. Oh, you you couldn't eat that part. He was like, yo, I'm not eating like the tip. <laughs> you guys talking about biting the tip. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's a cigar. No, you would be like, yo, I'm not eating this. I heard bite the tip and spit it out. I don't know. That shit's crazy. Where are you from? Hey, yo. I, don't ever disrespect Lizzie. Yo, <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that, bro? What about this? Knishes. What? Knish. Yeah. I love a knish. I love a knish. I, know uh, I hate it's knishes. Just a I'm not like a name, big, dude. like... Yeah, I never liked knishes. Cat's Deli makes the best. But I never would. I never ate a knish. I, I might have tried it, but I, I don't like it. It's the huh? name, right? It's bro, the it's name, just, too. Bro, it's, it's a fucking... Thing. What is in it? It's, it's a potato. 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 Yeah. Nah, I'm Why good. You love French fries. You love French fries. I, think I don't he's a picky eater though. He don't fuck. I don't trust that. no yeah. food recommendation. Exactly. I don't trust no food recommendations from them. He's the pickiest. Yeah, he's the pickiest ever. Right. I'm mad picky. He's the worst. Yeah. He that's eats bro. a hamburger just meat Nems. and bread we and need a diet, ketchup on a week it. That's it. Diet in the life. Yo, I want to do a week. Uh, I eat fast food every night. Fast food and pizza every day. That's it. <laughs> and he's My lunch will be fuck. pizza. My dinner will be fast food. McDonald's, Wendy's, White Cat, whatever. Or vice versa. My lunch will be that. Then it'll be pizza. Top three fast food restaurants. Uh, top five. Let's do top five. Boom. Damn. Fast food. Arby's. Wow. What? I like their curly fries and their wow. chicken fingers. I don't eat the rest of the shit. Wendy's. I fuck with Wendy's heavy. McDonald's just because they're everywhere. 
convenient. convenient. Yep. Um, White Castle on a late night. Huh. Damn, Can't White beat White Castle. Castle. Fire, you know what I'm saying? But certain White Castles are better. Yo, I, Definitely. I, I noticed the Bronx has the mo- man White Castles on like every block. I'm like, yo, what they the fuck? Yeah, that's here. true. I went last night. Yeah, that shit is trash over there. Nah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Y'all eat fast food? What's y'all top five nah. fast food spots? You uh, fuck with fast food? I fuck with In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A. Yo, In-N-Out, oh, L- that's the fries right? are trash. Chick-fil-A the fries, yeah, you don't go for the fries. Nah, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Is <laughs> you don't go for the fries. Well, no, is Shake Shack like considered fast food? Yeah, what about yeah, yeah. Five Guys? It's like high-end fast food. Five Guys Five Guys? You like Five Guys in your mouth? Hey, yo. Five Guys. Love Five Guys. Five Guys right here. Five Guys. Hey, yo. Yo. I'm tired of fucking bird, bro. Yo, it's all right, bro. The bird's outside. The bird's outside. Before we leave, we got the G-Pass. Yes. The G pass is somebody something from the week or whatever that you want to give a G pass to, or you could revoke their G pass. You know what I'm saying? So this week, you know what I'm saying? I I I, I, re- I came across something, Steve Harvey. He's already a G. I can't, you know. You're giving the G pass to Steve Harvey. To Steve Harvey. All right. Because I found something that he said. Look, and it's something like we were talking about. I read it. It says, I didn't get into comedy until I was 27. I was homeless from 30 to 33. I lived in a car for three years. Don't give up on your dreams. People see me today, they don't know where I come from. I tell young cats all the time, young cats all the time, the key is you can't ever give up. And that's exactly what we're speaking about. Look, look, at 30 years old, at 26, bro, really is when my life started. That's when I got clean. From 18 to 26, I was fucked up. I was sleeping in staircases and and in the lifeguard chairs. You know, so my life from, so about, from 26 to 30, I was sleeping on my mother's love seat couch in her living room. She would wake up at six in the morning, cooking fucking bacon, and uh, wake me up with that shit smell. Couldn't bring no bitches over. If I did, it, it, we had to be mad quiet and smash on a little futon oh, too. Mute, Yo, mute, ma- mute, mute smashing sex. is crazy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, you can get away with it. You can get away yeah, with it. Yeah, but you can't yeah, really flex that. and bust ass like you supposed yeah, yeah. like the, the first fu- the first fuck is, is supposed to be like that sets the tone. That sets the, set the tone. tone. Yeah. Like uh, at, that determines if you're gonna you say. yeah, it's important. That determines if you're gonna get more <laughs> ass or or you dead. You she ain't fucking you dead. Dead. Or if you can hit her friends even if you really go crazy. If you nice with it on the first one, you can hit a friend. So yeah, yo. So so yeah, up to thirty, I was sleeping on my mother's couch, bro. And look, fucking couple years later, now we. You know, the whole, now I Outside bought a house and my head. mother bought, Yo. I got a house for my mother to live in. You know what I'm saying? Speaking about smashing, Amber Rose's X-Men. Oh, the vintage vagina. Is smashing Cher. Okay. She's 78, he's 40. Respect. All right, so. Respect to Cher. At, at some point, yeah, at some point, <laughs> at some point. This is gonna be coming. This is crazy. This is crazy. classified as vintage vagina. Oh yeah, top heritage. five. All right, we heritage. gotta do that. Everybody down the line, you guys yeah, don't heritage. have to answer if you don't want to. Only thing is, I don't know how we're defining vintage because they're younger. So vintage over fifty might be nah. Might be 40 bro, years she's old for them. seventy-eight years old. That's what I'm saying. For she's them. older than no, Biden. For them, for them, for them. No, Biden. She's Biden. older than Biden, bro. Biden's aging, bro. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. Yo, for the for the for the record, we changed the president's name. That name is Byron. We met him you know and he told us, he was like, everyone calls me Joe Byron. You and guys was, did not I meet him. I laughed. I was like, You met oh. him like the president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when the fuck you guys met him? Like last year. No way, you fucking scumbags. Oh, yeah. we tried, bro, trust me. They were being <laughs> mad us. like crazy. Bro. So was it at the White House? Posted anything? It was in New York. Fire. Uh, just Secret uh, Service. So don't post. That's crazy. That's fire. But when we met him, we told him, we were like, yo, like. That's a life hack. Yo, yo that's a big like, life hack. Joe Biden. <laughs> and they were just like, yo, like he said, he was like, oh, we told him. We we're like, oh, like the Byron thing. He's like, everyone calls me that. And then I laughed and he's like, it didn't help. <laughs> it didn't help? St- stone cold. I swear to you, like no funny. He's like, probably joke. tired. He goes, it, it didn't help. Like that's what he said, like straight face. What do you mean it didn't help though? I don't know. I was I like, was that the election year? Like, like his votes and his ah, like. No, no, president. I just think he <laughs> meant like everyone's like, oh, Byron, 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 like a joke. He's and the president like, he's of the president. world. He's like, this is not funny. Yo, yeah, did he, Joe Biden. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> was he coherent? Mm, sure. Was he awake? No, yeah. like, did he, like... <laughs> yeah, he cool. They want to meet him again. They don't did he feel him. presidential? I'm not trying to go... I'm trying to wake up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he was cool. I mean, nah, I didn't feel presidential, but he was cool. Wow, that's... Yo, I didn't know that. 
That's dope. Yeah, that's yeah, fire. essentially fuck I've your life. I've seen you guys probably about 10 to 20 times since then, probably, and never <laughs> that, mentioned it once. <laughs> not, on, <laughs> not on purpose. No, not on purpose. Did you bad. buy something like a presidential pin or nothing? Nah. nah or like a ring that you can like, Nah, he don't fuck help. with us. He just told them. Yeah, he it just said help. it didn't help, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's like, yo, fuck them. He's like, oh, Secret Service, let's get these kids out of here. Yeah, no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he wasn't, he wasn't. That's the guy that yo, sat with the yo, thing. So hold yo, up. so vintage vagina. I, so I said, my, I only give him one. Sophia Loren, I always wanted to smash those buns. She is bad. I don't know if she's still living. <laughs> yeah, she's still living, She bro. was in Grumpy Old Men. She's still living. She was bad back no, in the day. No, she was in Grumpy Old Look her up. Sophia bro, Loren, up. bad. Bad, what movie bad, was she bad. like? Is she an actress? She's, yeah, she's, she's an actress. actress. A famous actress from back in the day. But she's she from in, Italy. She's from Italy. Yeah, she's she was 88. In like, she's 88 years old. Jesus. So you bad. smashing an 88 year old? Yo, we should mic up Max for his old lady story, man. Nah, Max smashed the old lady one time. A long time 88, ago. 88 though. <laughs> he said right, like that. <laughs> I saw. Nah, she was. Oldest uh -huh. chick you ever smashed? That's whoa, like mad whoa, whoa. questions. Is it oldest no, chick? Is it nah, no vagina? Old. Is it G pass? Which one? Which one are we doing? All right, so let. All right, so we do uh the G pass. The G pass. Who you giving the G pass to? I'm gonna revoke a G pass. So I was by Hudson Yards. I was sliding through the city. I'm by like Hudson that? Yards. That's yeah, how you slide? that's how I slide. I was going lane <laughs> to lane. I was going lane to lane by <laughs> Hudson Slided Yards. City, yeah. yeah, I was sliding through the city, and uh. I seen one of those street meat carts. You know what I'm saying? I was a little thirsty. So I hopped out and I was like, yo, let me get a Gatorade. So I'm like, how much? I didn't say, let me get a Gatorade. If you're from New York, you say like, yo, how much is the Gatorade? Cause you already know they're gonna try to- Cause they might try to, try to charge you four or five dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So he looks at me, yo, he looks at me, he goes, for you brother, Huh. 550. <laughs> so, yo, don't call me fucking brother and charge me 550 for a Gatorade. You're revoked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your life, you heard? Facts. What about you, Pa? What about you, Pa? I'm gonna revoke myself because when the Knicks, <laughs> the Knicks <laughs> signed, the guys they signed this offseason, I was fucking flipping. And now I'm actually enjoying watching them, so. So you're gonna revoke yourself. I'm gonna revoke myself, yeah, thanks. So Trent? for y'all, y'all could give a G pass something you wanna shout out Definitely. or revoke a G pass if something is. Listen, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm gonna have to revoke your G pass <laughs> oh! for talking about biting the tip of a glizzy and spitting it out. Yeah. No disrespect. I was gonna give you a G pass, yo, bro. Get him out of your favorite album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, no, get, get out of here. Enjoy, your, um, enjoy this right here, because this is your fucking last one. Yo, I think you got Jack. fired too, like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I I'm gonna give, it. I think, hmm. It has to be from this week. Nah, whatever. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. G pass that I could give out is like to multiple people. It's literally to anyone that's bigger than us that helped us when we were smaller. Cause so many people Fire. put us on without trying to get something from us that are so much bigger than us that like didn't, like people like ASAP Rocky and Cardi B and stuff like that all did stuff with us when we, especially like ASAP, like just did stuff with us when we were really, really small, and it didn't benefit them in any type of way, but they never, they always just tried to elevate us, help yeah, us, yeah. put us in a good mindset. And like, looking back on that, as we've gotten bigger, it's really hard to do that, because you don't know who you want to co-sign or who Facts. you want to do this to, so it's Those really cool. Those are the dopest people in life, are the people that help other people and just do dope shit just for the sake of it being dope, that don't want anything in return. Those are the best type, like, if somebody, if I need to buy, hoodies from somewhere at a cheaper price than I already got and somebody knows a lot of people hold that information because yep. it gives them power the dopest people are the people that Pass be like nah here let me Pass let me connect you I don't want nothing I just want you to yep. succeed in life right and yep. step away those that's, are that's the dopest people because it's well, a whole right. like realization after you have that and then when you get successful yourself you're like oh I don't you don't have to do that you don't have to put anybody on Fact. but if you nah, do if you go out of your way to put people on it's like you actually mean that and it's really not cool. even put them on just yeah, yeah, what happens direction. is if, if you comfortable with your capabilities, you could tell somebody exactly how to do it. That yeah. doesn't mean that they're going to do it like exactly. you, better than you, whatever. You know what I'm it's saying? True. Just pass the plug. Let them do what they got to do. That's it. Because a lot of people get up and they're scared to help other people. That's just because they're not confident in themselves enough. Like if you're, if you're up and you're like very confident in yourself, you're down to help anybody because you know no one's going to surpass you or do anything that's... Absolutely. No, that's a fact. As I've gotten fact. older, that's something that I've like learn that I don't have to be precious with like information or how to do something. If it, if it's dope, that that's how I measure if I'm gonna help. Like, oh, this is dope, I want it to work out and I'll, I'll 
volunteer all the information. For my G pass though, I was gonna give it to Trent because he was like, <laughs> "Congo's the best album ever." And then he I tried to come at me for biting, the, for biting the glizzy off. So now I got, I got to pivot. Even though he doesn't need the G pass, obviously, I'm gonna give the G pass, my G pass to Nems. Celebrated 13 yeah. after 13 years, oh, 13 years, 13 years of That's sobriety. Right. I think last week. Yep. yep. I know, you know, it's been an incredible journey. I've known him for over a decade, so that's where that's where I want I want to highlight that and give names my G pass for respect. The week. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Yo. So that this might be our first episode, it might be our second. I don't know. Whichever episode it is, you just been outside with Gorilla Nims and the Lifers and the crew and Side Talk. Salute Jack and Trent. They don't do this a lot, man. They were very uh nice. Whatever the fucking Thanks, word is. Thanks, man. That's a good word. Thanks, they were very Thank nice. you, bro. That's a good word. They were gracious enough to bless us, man. Make sure you like presents. the podcast, subscribe, follow Facts. NEMS on Instagram, buy your FYL merch. F- merch. Yeah. FYL.NYC, the hardest merch in the game. This is going to be the FYL store. Yeah, January Monster 1st. Energy Drinks. So what do you guys, what do you guys got off, coming yeah. up? Uh, we got a holiday fundraiser coming up. We're yeah, announcing on Thanksgiving. We're going to be raising uh, money for homeless families. So if you're, you can donate a dollar or even share it, that'd be dope. Where can then, they donate at? Uh, we're going to post about it on Thanksgiving. So yeah. there'll be a link in our bio. No, but this is probably going to come out Black Friday or after. Perfect. So you'll see it literally right now. If you go to our Instagram, check out our most recent video, you'll see a dope announcement. Yeah. And then on uh, December 2nd, we're throwing a crazy party and concert. Special guest appearance by NEMS. That's so. a fact. Where at? Bong. Irving Plaza, 14th Street. Oh, oh, let's we do it. We in there. We in there. We did. Yes, we outside. We, we outside. outside. No, no, we're going to be life. inside. We're going to be inside for that. But listen, <laughs> if you ain't fucking subscribe or fucking listen to our shit all the time, or sh- yo, the best thing you can do as a listener or watcher is share this with somebody you fuck with. Spread the word. Fuck your life. Let's go. Wow. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy, don't ever disrespect me, you heard?